All right, welcome in. This is another Sunday night video prepping us for Monday night skills. It's week six, and for this week, I wanted to work on shooting off the pass and some underhandling concepts working on goal scoring. So I have a few, a few video clips to show, but first I wanted to explain the importance of shooting off the pass in the context of goal scoring. So what I'm going to show here is a uh, kind of a study that's done that was done by Brandon Arado, the head coach of Michigan men's hockey. I've talked a lot about him before, but he loves analytics and looking at all of this stuff. And so what he did was for NHL five on five scoring all the goals that were scored. I forget what year this was from, but he looked at how the goals were scored. And as you can see off the pass was the majority of goals in both entry zone entries and offensive zone play and overall i think what he defines as an in stride shot you can see right here is a shot that's carried for more than two seconds so in offensive zone play you're only having uh, seven percent of goals in the nhl were scored that way and most of those are d walking the blue line and throwing a sifter on net that goes through a few screens and ends up going in so the whole point of this is if we're working on goal scoring, the skills behind goal scoring in practice, everything should be done off of the pass. Now, I understand that this is NHL data and it's a little bit different at squirts and 10U and even peewees and, and bantams and 12U and 15U. And that's mainly due to the quality of defense at the highest level in the world not allowing you to carry the puck in the zone and, and dangle people and get shots off. But I think it's important to develop these skills now because when they, when your boys or girls get up to the high school level, they're not able to get shots off by carrying it. Uh, I did a, I did an analysis last year for our boys' high school team, and it, it, it matched this. It was uh, in the single digits of in-stride shots actually um, getting off um, and resulting in goals. So... When you're working on goal scoring in practice, everything needs to be off the pass, in my opinion. So now I wanted to show a couple clips from yesterday, actually, in our game against Duluth East. So this first one's kind of like a broken play. It's going to start with an entry and... Um, the puck is just going to bounce to our player on the on the right hand side. He's a lefty, and he's just going to shoot it right away. So the puck kind of comes in, it bounces to twenty, and he's able to get that shot off right away. So no handles. He's shooting it. The goalie's not even ready, and it's in the back of the net. All right, the next one is actually kind of a, it's still a zone entry, but what I want to notice on this one is this is six and white. It's a lefty on the left side. He's a fantastic skater, and he's going to beat the Duluth East player in red. But what I want you to notice is he doesn't stick handle this puck once he hits the top of the circle until he makes his move and he brings it to his backhand and goes five hole on the goalie. But what you'll see a lot is when players get the puck right here, especially in youth hockey, they will stick handle the puck a few times. Their speed doesn't get up to where you actually can beat this defender. And also, they don't protect the puck as well as six dozen white here. So he kind of just taps it forward and doesn't stick handle it, which I love. So that's an example of underhandling the puck, which we will work on tomorrow night. This one's just a neutral zone draw. I think it's after a goal. And anytime we have what I call an inverted rush, so this is a one-on-four basically right now because of the four guys in red that are surrounding our white player, it's never a bad idea to either make a play to extend possession or throw something at the net. And what 19 and white here does is he just throws something at the net and he actually gets a decent chance because of a bad rebound by the goalie. 
Now the bad rebound by the goalie is probably caused by he wasn't expecting the shot or whatever the case may be. But again, he doesn't handle this puck or try to handle this puck on the rebound. He just tries to shoot it and it goes out of play. But again, it's a one on four rush. He's just throwing something at the net and he actually gets a decent chance out of it. All right. Now we are going to look at opposite of this stuff so this is uh, uh coaches talk about this all the time dusting it off and not being able to get shots off because of it so seven's going to stick handle this puck and the red player is going to get into his hands and not let this off so when he catches this puck he actually has a shooting lane even if he doesn't one time it he could just catch and rip something at the net. And he's got a lot of net to look at. But instead, he tries to settle it down. And the red player gets a stick on it. Just watch it one more time. Little stick handle. And that's all it takes. It's less than a second. It's less than half of a second. But it's super important to under be able to underhandle in those situations to get shots off at the net. <clears throat> 